I'm looking at the uh, altitudinal variation of freeze tolerance in the Pacific chorus frog, and their scientific name is Sudacris regilla. And there's only been one paper ever written about them, and it was just basically saying that they think they're freeze tolerant, although we know they are, so it's really good. It's pretty fun. So this is a plate, and it's just like this, but mini sized. And you put your samples in here, and then you put it in that plate reader, and it punches out a bunch of numbers. Seriously, the tiniest amount ever. I hate it. Uh, these ones are the dilutions, and then they'll go into a plate reader. Or I'll add a color reagent um, so you can detect how much glucose is in the sample. Um, and then we do a ton of calculations and you get a number that tells you how much was in the liver. <laughs> so when I first did this, um, I ran it in the plate reader and it was like maxing out. Because there's so much glucose in it that like I wasn't getting an accurate enough reading. And so I had to redo it. I'm redoing it and diluting it down because it will be more accurate. And once all the color agent is added, they sit in here for 45 minutes. And they change color if there is um, like glucose present. 